Okay, we will continue no, the, the lessons. Is, um... Introduction to plants, and let us see. While we were resting, I made a scavenger hunt with different plants he could look for as we hiked. After I listed them all, I started thinking about how different the plants are. Click the hotspots to learn more about how they are different. Then, my brother was very surprised to know that mosses are plants. They are small plants. They don't have flowers or roots. By the end of our hike, my brother found all the plants on the scavenger hunt list. Did you understand? He was exploring and he found that mosses are also plants, but they do not have roots or flowers. Okay, and they're very small. My little brother didn't know that a tree is a plant. The trees on our hike had these amazing tall trunks. One way that scientists sort trees is to see if they form flowers or cones. I added a pine cone to my brother's scavenger hunt list. Plants can have different parts too. Roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruit, and seeds. But not all plants have all the same parts. One way that scientists group plants is by the kind of parts they have. For example, bluebells have long stems and blue flowers. I added white flowers to my brother's list of plants to find. Do you think he found some? I don't know what happened. They said accident denied to not content. Let me begin it again. Again, they say that access is denied to that content, leave it. I don't know what happened. It's better I open up your book here. Wait a minute. Welcome, Welcome to the, the lesson. lesson. Any hear girls? Yeah. Introduction to plants where you'll learn about the characteristics that all plants share. You'll also find out about the characteristics that distinguish the major plant divisions. The vocabulary words for this lesson are... Yes, Malak, please read the vocabulary words. Please read the vocabulary words. If not, Malak, please... Uh, uh... Matin, read the vocabulary words. Producer, photosynthesis, oral vascular system, pollen, gymnosperm, and gymnosperm, and gymnosperm. You've seen lots of different kinds of plants. Which of these pictures show plants? Drag each image to the correct box. Okay, who will do that? Please, can you drag the plants and animals? Girls, can you drag the image with me? Huh? Yeah. Broccoli is yeah, um, a plant. Plant. Okay, good. No. Rocks. Not plant. Mm. <laughs> Sandu. Sandu. Uh, I think it's not it's plant. Metal. Not Metal, a plant. Not plant. Sea sponge. 
Seeds not a job plant. Not a plant. Comes under protest. Lithops, not a plant. It's a plant. Lithops, it doesn't look like a plant. Yeah. Moss, plant. Yeah, it's, uh, I think and it's coral. Corals are some kind Were of. Were you animal. surprised by any of these? Sometimes plants don't look like what we expect. Let's figure out what makes a plant a plant. It's taking a longer time here. The sunflowers shown here are examples of plants. You may be familiar with the flower produced by this plant. Plants come in a variety of sizes, shapes, and colors. Most plants live on land, but some live in water. Some plants produce flowers and some don't. There is plants are multicellular eukaryotes. Multicellular means that they are made of many cells. They are eukaryotes because their cells have many organelles surrounded by membranes, including a nucleus. What can you see on the screen, girls? Uh, You've learned that photosynthesis is the process by which plants make their own food. The process begins as the plant absorbs the sun's energy. Click play. Plant cells produce chlorophyll, which is the pigment that makes the plant green. Chlorophyll is contained in organelles called chloroplasts. Chlorophyll uses the sun's energy to initiate photosynthesis, which the plant needs to make food. To start the process of photosynthesis, Energy absorbed by chlorophyll splits water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. Then, carbon dioxide and hydrogen are joined together. To make sugar. Carbon dioxide and hydrogen combine to make glucose, a type of sugar. This is the food that plants need to live. The plant releases the remaining oxygen, which we in turn can breathe. Let's please, can you take a picture of this and uh, draw it and show it to me? As an activity? Yeah. No? Yeah. And the directions are very important. Okay. Because you need to show that oxygen goes out and what comes in? Carbon dioxide. And Carbon dioxide. You show that sun and they, they don't need glucose. Glucose goes out. Oxygen and glucose goes out. Water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight gets in. Even for glucose, make a direction of outside. Did you take a picture? Even in the last term, you have made the same thing. You've learned a lot about photosynthesis. What role does chlorophyll play in photosynthesis? Tell me, girls, who will say this answer? What is the role of chlorophyll in photosynthesis? It allows plant mm -hmm. consumers to digest. It absorb light energy from the sun power photosynthesis. And it absorbs light energy. That is the best answer. That's right. Plants can be categorized as vascular. I wanted to show you non-vascular and vascular plants. Yesterday when I was talking, I told you, remember, non-vascular means small plants, and vascular means the 
plants, which have vascular tissue, those are vascular plants, which where the vascular tissue is absent, that is a non-vascular plant. Now, when you see the picture and the video, you will understand more clearly. Vascular or non-vascular. Most familiar plants are vascular plants, which means they have specialized tissues that transport water and nutrients through the plant. Click play to learn more about non-vascular plants. Non-vascular plants do not have specialized tissues for transport, so they depend on diffusion to move water, nutrients, and minerals into and out of the plant cells. Diffusion is the movement of a substance from an area of high concentration to an area of lower concentration. Because diffusion is relatively inefficient for transporting nutrients, non-vascular... Yesterday, yesterday you asked me, Vatin, that what is the meaning of vascular tissue? What is the role of vascular tissue? It helps in transport. So here, when there is no transport going on with the help of vascular tissue, they are doing it with diffusion. Diffusion, remember I told you when a drop of ink drop into water from concentrated area to low concentrated area. Similarly, this happens plants tend to be small. Vascular plants. What do ferns, rose bushes, and giant redwood trees have in common? They are all... These all are vascular plants, girls. Vascular plants. That is, they all have a vascular system that allows these plants to grow higher above the ground and still get water and nutrients from the ground. Click the images to learn more about vascular... The vascular system transports food, water, and minerals, and also offers structural support for the plant. Vascular system tissues are found in roots, stems, and leaves. Most roots are underground. They supply plants with water and minerals from the soil. These materials are transported from the roots to the shoots through vascular tissues. Roots also hold plants in the soil, and they can store extra food made during photosynthesis. Got it, girls? Did you understand more clearly now? Yeah. Non-vascular? Stems are yeah. usually above ground. They support the plant. See, roots and flowers are absent in non-vascular, but present in vascular. But stems, we say sometimes in non-vascular, but very they're they never above the ground like how high these are, these stems are. And keep it growing upright, holding up leaves so they can get sunlight from. Leaves make food for the plant. Chloroplasts in leaf cells capture energy from sunlight, which is used to power photosynthesis and produce glucose. The outer surfaces of a leaf are covered by a cuticle, which is a waxy layer that prevents water loss. Plants can be classified as vascular or non-vascular. Drag each image to the correct box. Okay. On board. What do you think? Vascular or non-vascular goods? Uh, miss, I didn't understand what it means um, vascular. Vascular are bigger plants. Non-vascular are smaller plants. Very, very small. Meter. This is the main difference. Okay, uh, One has vascular tissue, the other have actually tissues we can only see when we see with the microscope. So vascular are big plants? Yes. Like when you see okay. this plant, you must know that weed is a vascular. Understood? And you see these are very small, but liverwort, I think, yeah, you see, onward, it is again a vascular here. Yeah? No, it's a non-vascular. The, I think the hornwort, you also remember Moses ferns are vascular. Uh, liverwort and horn. Uh, vascular, I think. Apple tree, tree is vascular. vascular. Completely, I know that. Moss, again. It's Moss vascular. are non vascular. Yeah, the names actually, you know. Non vascular. This one vascular because this looks, see you, they have leaves and flowers. Are small. Yeah, small, but they have flowers. Look at the picture. Flowers yeah. mean will be vascular. Your liverwort, I think this is non vascular. I don't know. Let us see. Yes. Yeah. And I think liverwort. That's right. Vascular plants have a. Remember that liverworts are non vascular. You know that many plants reproduce. Now, coming to seed plants and seedless plants, these also we have studied in grade five girls. 
that some of them have seeds, they grow with seeds, some of them without seeds, okay? Without are angel and with the seeds are gymnosperms. You will study more. By making seeds. But did you know that some plants reproduce without seeds? Click the pictures to learn more. Plants that reproduce without seeds use spore production. Both you know, types. They are without seeds. That means how did they grow? The small spores, they fall from the leaf or from some the part of the plant. And from that spores in the ground, they grow again a new plant. This is how grass and mosses, especially the non-vascular plants grow. But for seeds, those are different. Types of reproduction, seed and spore, involve sperm that must fertilize an egg. Every plant in this picture is a moss. Mosses are non-vascular plants, and all non-vascular plants are seedless plants. They are spore producers using spores well, to... And we get a point that all of the non-vascular plants, they are seedless plants, okay? These okay. horsetails are spore producers. Again, these horsetails are so spore producers, but they do they look like non-vascular? I don't think so. They look like vascular. Their reproduction does not involve seeds. Horsetails and ferns are seedless. See, again, they are seedless. They're vascular. Why? By looking at it, you can see these are brig and they have vascular tissue which can transport the water and nutrients to the uh, leaves. But they are seedless girls. Still, they are vascular. That's why I say the size matters a lot. Vascular plants. A mature fern plant will produce spores. See. There is a mature plant which have spores on the, on the leaf. These spores fall down and they make a new plant. From that new plant, maybe, that's why I told you yesterday, it can be alternate. First asexual, when the spores fall down. And then when they find the sperm and they make a mate and then they make a fertilized egg, that is a sexual reproduction. Under its leaves. When the spores are released, they grow into small plants that produce sperm and eggs. With the help of water, the plant sperm swim to the plant eggs, the cells unite, and the cells grow into new fern plants. When these new plants mature, they will produce spores. Trees and grasses are vascular plants. The majority of vascular plants produce... See, by looking at these, these trees, I will say these are vascular. And even these grasses, big ones, they are vascular. Trees and grasses are vascular plants. The majority of vascular plants produce seeds. A seed contains a plant embryo and its food source. The embryo is enclosed in a protective covering. Within a seed are all the parts needed to produce a new plant. Seed plants produce pollen, tiny structures in which sperm forms. Pollen can be carried from one flower to another. Remember last year I have told you that the, the, the stigma, the style, the ovary, did you see the parts of the plant? You remember last year? Maybe no, it's okay. I'm going to explain it again. Let the class has ended. You have another class at 125. I can continue. Take care and have a nice day.